Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your April 2018 monthly reading. Generally, my readings are love readings, but we will see whatever comes up. Pisces. Okay, this is unfairness. Something is unfair. Sorry about that. I just got to turn this off. All right, so something is unfair, and you have no choice but to realize the truth of the situation. Okay, there's a change in plan, a change in course, and it does lead to stability. You could be receiving some amount of money from this, whatever it is, or stability or security. I mean, this is good luck. This is a wheel of fortune. I feel like there's something that is unfair or unjust, because that's what this means. That pushes you to have faith and let go and changes your course and brings about some sort of stability. There's a rebirth here, a renewal, some sort of renewal. Something is happening. Something becomes final that aids in a rebirth. There's some sort of freedom here. A change is happening, a conscious change. Something is happening here. And I feel like the storm is over. Something is happening that releases some conflicts from your life. Wow. Amazing. So it looks like somebody is, is giving up on something. Somebody is giving up on something. They're letting something go, okay, with this page of pentacles. It's like, I, I quit. I'm done. It's over. There's no more. It's over. Something is over. Finally. It's finally over. And it allows or brings a lot of growth into your life it's like there's strength it gives you strength <clears throat> here it's like with the five of cups reversed it's like there's it's the end of difficulty it is the end of difficulty i feel like there was a time where there was a lack of focus a lack of energy a lack of desire and you're deciding to look at things from a new perspective and, and let go of those old feelings and make a conscious change that changes your destiny. There's like a new found security here where happiness is starting to come back to your life and peace and contentment. It feels like you're going to build a stronger foundation elsewhere. 
your, your, your new foundation is becoming stronger. And I say new because that, it looks like you're letting something go. There's something that's being final, becoming final. And it's bringing you a lot of growth. It's something you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this to happen. And I feel like it's your faith has been restored. Your faith has been restored. And I feel like you feel like you no longer need to prove yourself that things are starting to settle down. I do. I think things are starting to settle down. You're starting to reap some of the benefits of all the hard work that you've put into something. The fact that you never quit, gave up and you've always believed in yourself. I feel like there is some sort of change of course here that brings you good fortune and money. The magician reversed is trickery, trickery. I think somebody has been caught, okay? It has been revealed and it changes the course. There's been some dishonesty here and somebody has been caught. Somebody has been clinging to the past. This is what the card means. Somebody has been clinging to the past. And now I think they are rejecting that thought. I am no longer going to cling to the past. It's final. It's over. Yeah, it looks like you guys are accepting the truth of a situation. You're being offered the, the raw truth. You're being offered and you're accepting the raw truth. And it's changing your destiny. It's changing your course. I think you're letting go of some sort of obsession, some sort of imbalance in your life. And you're accepting this change. I feel like you guys have been procrastinating on letting this go. You've been not wanting to accept this truth. But I feel that now is the time that you are, it's decision making time. It's time for a change. It's time to make this choice to accept the truth and stop feeling like a victim. And I feel as though you may be accepting an offer of love or being willing to offer love to someone. I think that you have went through an emotional hardship. And you are done procrastinating. Because you are ready for happiness. You're ready to release the past. I am going I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm not going to waste another minute on this. Yeah, you guys are, are becoming alive. You're, somebody did get caught. Somebody has got caught. Some truth came out. Some truth came out in your favor. And I feel as though your wishes are right around the corner. There is a change of course here that is bringing you good luck, good fortune. Something good is, is going to happen. Don't let your ego get in the way. Okay? Okay.
and you may feel you may feel like you might feel like you had I think this is in the past you had lost hope you had lost hope that you were going to ever get through this that you were ever going to be able to remove this hurt and this betrayal and this mental conflict that has been holding you back I think you were you had lost hope and you may have been feeling weak and that's why you were clinging to the past but I think that, that that's over and I, I see new security new abundance new gifts you could be receiving money from somewhere a big sum of money or a new partnership that you might be just willing to accept at this time Yes, you guys are, are, are regaining control of your emotions in your life. That's what's happening here. After so, I think there's something happens that's unfair. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Something happens that is unfair. And at first it seems unfair. And it may, make, may shock you, may make you feel upset, the whole nine yards. Or and this has happened, okay? Something happens that changes your course and brings you something much more stable and secure. I feel like you've been robbed, you've been tricked, you've been taken advantage of. And now I think it's bringing you closer to a stable, secure contentment, commitment, And I feel as though you guys are releasing the past fully, accepting the truth. Because you've been through a period of time of already working this out. You've already worked this out. You've already focused on it. You've already taken the time out. And during that time out, you couldn't, you couldn't be in love. You couldn't offer love to anybody. Because something wasn't over yet in your head. The mental conflicts were holding you back. But I think that you have taken the time to plan your future. I do. Yeah, and I see happiness is coming. And it's no longer going to be your life is no longer going to be filled with tension and conflict I think you are removing those circumstances from your life that were unjust and unfair and you're looking at things from a new perspective and I think this happens because of some upheaval I mean, this is what it is. And this is a blessing in disguise. When the tower comes out in a reading, it is a blessing in disguise. It's when something comes in that we didn't see coming. And it appears to be a mess. It appears to be a problem. But it turns out to be the change that we needed to bring stability and abundance and security to our life. So this is what's happening. Something is happening that, that allows you to regain control. Because this is regaining control with the devil reversed. And you could also receive a new offer of love. <laughs> it looks like you could. An unexpected choice in love. Because you're ready, right? You're ready.
You have an unexpected choice in love that could lead to a lot of happiness. You've done the work that you've needed to do to heal over something that didn't work out, that wasn't fair. And even though you have neglected to start a new journey, I believe the time is right around the corner where you stop neglecting and you take the next step. There could be a new partner on your horizon. That leads to a happily ever after relationship. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This card, said, card says the same thing. Your soulmate doesn't look like your usual type. Okay? They don't act like your usual type. And they're going to come in in an unexpected way. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yep. Ooh, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment because you're committed to it now. This doesn't have to mean engagement. This means that you are now committed to love. Ooh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Don't bring the past with you. And this is right next to the tower, okay? It's a, the tower is going to bring this, whatever this instance is, you may see it as a red flag. Like I said, it doesn't come in pretty usually. Pay attention. This person might be in the midst. Oh, here it is. Look at that. Oh, my God. Love. I think you're going to find some love, Pisces. Let me get that zoomed right in for you. Love is the foundation of your existence. And you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Now, some of you might not want it. And I'm just telling you because of this hermit. And that's okay. This would be self-love. But some of you are ready for new love. And it could certainly come this month. This reading will not resonate with every single person. So keep that in mind. I wish you the best. Talk to you later.